Well, you know, since kids are heading back to school, we thought it would be a really good time to t discuss the dangerous trend of cyberbullying and what can be done to protect kids online and also on their phones. So to help us with the discussion, we brought in two experts. We have Bill Bennett. He is the former education secretary and a CNN political contributor. He's also an advisor and investor in a parental internet monitoring service called Mouse Mail. And then Les Otolenghi is the CEO of Fusebox Incorporated. It is a widely a widely considered a technology visionary. You are, not the company, you are. And uh, let's begin, though, with Bill Bennett first. You know, Bill, this is so serious. This is a subject that really hits a place in your heart. We have seen kids kill themselves over cyberbullying. Parents still don't know really what goes on in their child's lives, either online or on their cell phones. And you say it's the beginning of a new year. Let's start talking about this for either the first time or let's do a refresher on this with kids, right? Yes, that's exactly right, Brianna. Thanks for the introduction. Yeah, there's uh, the problem of cyberbullying. There's the problem of inappropriate, obnoxious texting. There are things called sexting, where people send pictures of themselves. And now we've seen a whole industry develop out of that. Pornographers are getting in on this. It's, it's back to school time. It's the right time to talk about this. Parents will be buying cell phones for their kids, smartphones. There's a way now to prevent these kinds of messages from getting through to kids. And let me just say something about the schools, because the schools, when I talked about this on my radio show, Brianna, the, the teachers and principals called and said, if we could somehow prevent the texting from going on all day, whether it's obnoxious or not, the texting interferes with the capacity of teachers and uh, to teach and kids to learn. So that's another thing we want to be able to do. And this technology that Les can tell you about in this product uh, can, can certainly help. But this problem, this issue has gotten very serious. Parents want to protect their children. There's now a way to do it. That's right. And the whole issue here, Les, is that technology is being used perhaps to victimize children, but you uh, work with this kind of technology that can actually be used to protect children. You're the, on the board of a company that makes this product called Mouse Mail. What is it? That's right. Um, it is about protection, but it's also about prevention and parenting. And Mouse Mail does all three of those things. So I can simply take a portable computer and I can quickly log on and register my child and protect them immediately. Give them an email account and actually integrate that email account with their other email accounts like Yahoo, Google, or Microsoft. And immediately they're protected by mouse mail. So what happens if you're a parent? What kind of feedback are you getting? Uh, say like as if I am the child. I'm getting some emails. Sure. Maybe some of them are improper. What is going to be flagged here? Is it bad words? Is it if it's from a certain person that you don't want me talking to? How does it work? It's all of those things. In fact, it's about how you filter the bad words, images, and inappropriate messages. There's a dictionary in mouse mail that automatically catches those bad words, images, and inappropriate messages. And the parent can set up rules to add new words and alert the parent if something's going wrong. So what's the, what's the cost here? The cost is 43 cents a day. That's very little to protect your child from what now are sexual predators, actually even hate groups trying to solicit kids online, and as well as what Dr. Bennett said, sex texting and the inappropriate behavior and language that's being used. Nine, nine bucks a month, right? Uh, about nine bucks to 12 bucks a month. So what if you don't have nine bucks a month? What, well, about, what about parents who that's not really af affordable for them, but they want protection for their kids too? Certainly. The parent company Safe Communications has dedicated itself to an education program. We're just starting that with Mouse Mail, and we're adding it on to what is called Cool You for older children and teenagers. That's a full educational program that we're putting online in the next six months to enable parents to know what to do online. So if their child is online in a place they shouldn't be, they can counsel their children, this is the appropriate behavior. And as well, what groups to hang out with and what friends to make. And so that they know the right type of communications and when to reach out for help to their parent. And Bill, you know, some people might argue that this is kind of intrusive. I know it's not spyware because this doesn't allow a parent to look at everything that a child is doing. Right. But some might say right. it's kind of akin to that. So what do you say to them and how do parents need to communicate with their child uh, so their child doesn't just feel like they're being spied on? 
You're exactly right, Brianna. It is not spyware. And as Les said, it begins with a conversation with the child. The parent says, I'm going to buy you this cell phone. It's a smartphone. Uh, it's going to work for you. I want to be able to get in touch with you. You also will be able to talk to your friends on this, and you'll be able to text your friends. But I'm also going to protect you. And when things come through that aren't supposed to get to you, they are not going to get to you. Meanwhile, you carry on your conversations and your texts of an appropriate nature with your friends, and I don't know what I don't I don't know what the content of those are. That's entirely up to you. But when this dictionary kicks in, when some predator tries to get in, when there's somebody trying to send a message that shouldn't be sent to your child, it never gets to the child. It's blocked, it's kept from getting to the child. That gives the child the opportunity to carry on these conversations, to have his life. The parent is not spying on it. But the parent is doing his job or her job in protecting the child. And the parent, by the way, gets peace of mind that they don't always get from modern technology. And I guess it's so important, Les and Bill, for parents just to say, I'm watching you and I am involved. So thank you to both of us. Very important topic to consider as we get back into the school year.